right, so we made it over here to uh, No Name Place, and uh, there were people camping where we wanted to camp, so we had to come up here, camp in the dry desert. So, um, good news is, Kevin, is there any elk in here? <laughs> There's all kinds of elk in here. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brother Kevin. Brother Kevin is going to hunt um, this whole season with us in here. And uh, he came up here just to see what he got himself into. So <laughs> he, he, uh, he, he's probably going to kill one tomorrow. So this is night before opening day. We saw elk. Uh, there's all sorts of sign down there. Um, we're actually going to hunt out this ridge tomorrow morning. So... gonna be so upset because Kevin's gonna kill him probably that bull that Gage called him last year. We gotta find him. Yeah. But uh we're starting things off right. We got fresh coffee and we're gonna have some bacon. Now Kevin's never really elk hunted real hard before so this is gonna be a new experience you guys so if you wanna go down there and show him a bunch of elk and get him really pumped up and excited and stall and Oh, I get stuff that you do well. There you go, bro. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, so we brought Gage's uncle, Kevin, my brother-in-law, to the rock blind. So you're going to put your first rock on the rock blind. Everybody that passes it has to put a rock on it. We started this tradition years, <laughs> years ago. And I'm going to do two to get caught up. Oh, you're going to catch up? <laughs> I'm going to try to get caught up for the last year. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hey, Kev, the hard part here is uh, to find a rock to put on it. That's the hardest part. The rest of it's easy, getting to it's easy. But uh, I missed a buck down by those trees with my mom. I was probably 13. Missed all four shots. Only four. <laughs> Ran out of bullets. Ran out of bullets. Yep, gotta put a rock on the rock blind. Hey, that is a good one. You found a good one. Oh, good spot. Somebody, some archaeologist is going to come up here and make us not be able to hunt this spot anymore because they found this old ancient rock blind <laughs> that we built. <laughs> so I'm going to put that a rock on the rock blind.
was awesome. There was only one thing I didn't push the red button. I, I think I got one off, but that was it. But uh, um, they didn't they didn't get out of here. They just kind of wandered off. But anyhow, that right there, that right there, that's uh. About as fresh as it gets. So if you guys want to see what fresh poop looks like, Kevin's going to pick it up and show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to try to video better next time. It's just really hard when there's elk in front of you. And I'm, I'm not really... I'm calling, doing all sorts of weird things, so I'm not really videoing very well. Do you see one? No. There's still some in here. They're around here somewhere. We're just going to kind of chill on them. That's probably that four point. That's the first bull I've seen in the wild. <clears throat> that ain't the last one you're going to see in the wild. If he would have played, we would have been able to do something with him, but we walked right in the middle of him with our wind going the wrong It's swirling so bad right now. The wind's swirling in here. We'll give him some time, and then we'll let those thermals kind of calm down, and then we'll hunt them. They're still here. Okay, guys, so what you just saw was Kevin's kind of holding out for a bull. Kind of think you might have shot that one, though, if you could have got your release on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I couldn't get to my bow. I would definitely shot her. And uh, Misty, don't get too upset with me. But uh, so we're going to leave. We're, we'll come back here in the morning and we'll... Uh, or not in the morning, this evening, we'll come back in and get after those elk again, but I don't want to push them around too much. Uh, we'll go check the wallows over here and then come back. We thought about going back around and doing it again, but they're pretty riled up now, so we're gonna go over and check these guys. And we'll come back on them when they come down. making coffee this late at night well <laughs> it just sounds good with some Oreo cookies <laughs> <laughs> all right so give us a recap for the day and and then we'll get back after it tomorrow well we uh, we we walked a lot we we did bump into some elk this morning and uh, they kind of took us by surprise and uh, it'd be nice if they were talking and they're not talking yeah but, um, you know, it was, it was, uh, it's opening day too. It's opening so. day. It was kind of warm yeah. and, uh, just get a little bit, you know, it's getting a little bit chilly enough for a cup of coffee. This <laughs> <laughs> I think you want the coffee just to kind of keep your, it, and so I don't go to sleep before the sun goes down. <laughs> so, so here's the deal guys. We, we did get into some elk. Um, there was a fork or horn bull in there that I really would have liked to get. I, he was even better than the four point. There's a four point in there. Um, I, I had, you guys don't even understand. I was zooming in. I adjusted all of the um, settings on, on the video and I'm sitting there. And the one thing I didn't do was push the red button. But, yeah. <laughs> but after that, 
we sat down because they all didn't leave. We sat down and we let them calm down. And uh, then we came back, we got back up. And as we were getting up, uh, one of the cows that had stayed there, she heard us. She must've been asleep when all the other stuff went on. And she heard us and she's like, oh, there's my buddies. So she came over and you guys will see that on the footage. But um, we, this is opening day, 2020. Uh, Kevin came from Indiana, right? Yes. And you've elk hunted before. I went to Colorado once uh, on a do-it-yourself trip. Yep, yep, um, so, on a do-it-yourself. But this is the first time you really got into elk. Yes, sir. So so it was a good experience, and it's great to get this out of the way because we got a lot more coming. This whole season, We got Kevin's going to be with us this whole season, and uh, it's a good experience to get that close to elk this early on. It's really yeah, a good thing. Yeah, like 10 yards is pretty close. Yeah, 10 yards is pretty good. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning.